Greetings, up chappers. And I'm the captain. Welcome to Battle of the. What are we going to call Micro amps, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so we're doing this video because about two months ago, Rob and I did a video of the 6505, and we thought it sounded okay in the video, but in the comments section, you overwhelmingly all went, uh, "We think the uh, Micro Dark is better." Yes. You so said orange is superior, and how dare you present to us this other piece of tech? So we thought. There's only one way to settle this uh, debate, isn't there? Fight! Let's fight! Um, now we're going to do two parts to this video. The first part, as you can see already, is with each of these amps plugged into the speaker, their matching kind of speaker that comes with it. And there's, a, there's two reasons for that. One is because I guess this is what you might buy if you bought one of these. And second, there's a technical reason, which I'll come back to. So this is part one of the demo. Part two of the demo is we're going to buy, we're going to go and get a a regular 212 by another brand, so it's not going to be orange or PV, it'll just be an independent brand of 212. And we're going to plug each head into that so that you can yeah, hear it. Yeah, and we want you to vote and tell us in yeah. the comment section below who wins. We'll, we'll, we'll tell you which one we think is louder, you'll be able to hear which one has uh, the gain sound that you like. Um, so let's just get the... <clears throat> I can see why the orange in the UK is getting some love because over here, and I don't know what the relative pricing is anywhere else in the world, I just know that in the UK, one of these is about 135 pounds and the matching cab is 65 pounds. Whereas one of these is 170 odd pounds and the matching cab's 110 pounds. So there's a, overall, there's about a hundred pound odd price difference between the two stacks. The PV is a much bigger cab. It's probably twice it's as deeper, deep. It's deeper, isn't it? Uh, but they're both eight inch loaded speakers. Um, although the, now technically the reason why we've done this is because the PV gives its maximum power output, which is 20 watts into a four ohm cabinet. And it's actually quite hard to find big four ohm cabinets, which I, I think is a, a bit of an oversight by PV. Although this matching one is four ohms. The orange delivers its maximum 20 watts output into an 8 ohm load, which is what this is. And it's actually much easier to find bigger oh, yeah. cabinets that are 8 ohms. So what's going to happen, if you were to run this into an 8 ohm cabinet, you'd probably only get about two thirds, maybe three quarters of the power. volume out of it. So when we go over to running the 212, I'm expecting to hear the orange get a bit louder. So there's nothing, I mean again, that's, it is what it is. Um, in terms of knobs and buttons, uh, they, they both have a valve preamp, they both have a 20 watt solid state output section, they both have three uh, controls, volume, EQ and gain, orange call their EQ shape. Well the Piranha's got the switchable gain circuit, whereas yes. the orange micro dark needs that just dialed in. It does. Uh, they both have effects loops and we're both running a digital reverb pedal through the effects loop of each <coughs> amplifier. And they're both very dinky and they both have headphone sockets on them. So, uh, shall we start? We have an AB switch on the floor. <sighs> um, nervously. I, to start with, all we're doing is putting the settings on 12 o'clock. So that may not be the optimum settings for these amplifiers to get a sound that we like, but that's where, I, and we are gonna start with the crunch, sorry, the, the lead setting, so the higher gain setting on the PV. So here is the orange, I think. Which is the red one, orange or? I'm gonna say that that's the orange. Okay. That was my, my wipe test. <laughs> Do it. Now the piranha. So, quite a bit more bottom end out of the orange. Um, more arse. A little bit more arse. Similar, similar kind of volume. If anything, again, that bottom end on the orange is probably making it sound louder. But, so, next phase is let's dial in a tone because having everything set on 12 o'clock may not be the best sound that we can get out of each amplifier. Should we start with the Orania? Can let's I, start with can the I orange. dial it in? Yeah, you dial where, it in. Where I, where, I would normally, um, where I would normally dial this, uh, Whoa. this in. This is going to be... So Rob is going here now, just basically volume on full.
if we just oh. yeah, drop I would it take, back a, just a little the, bit. The, the little eight inch speaker's going, I'm not very happy with this much power going through me. No, it's not very happy. But. <laughs> It's not my strap, it's, it's Pete's strap. It's not on the strap lock properly. It won't go on, it won't go on it. Well then, I'd be Sorry, careful. I'm, I'm, I'm holding it, it too, you? I'm holding okay, it too. Okay, so, <clears> now let's just to, just to preface and say, the reason I turned it full volume is because I'm used to putting those kind of little amps through big 4x12s and you've got to drive the speakers. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's go you over on the time. PV. I've got to find one really, so let's just, uh, here we go. Now, and now, I think we should put both of them in. Well, let's, can we just, I, I, I appreciate you probably can't hear anything over the hiss coming out here. Let's just see if I can, uh, oh. similar kind of volume outputs when they're tonked up. Yes. So I think that the orange sounds much nicer when everything's on 12. That's clearly not a good setting for the Piranha. The Piranha you have to uh, go, you've got, to find your tone. you've got to go closer to the sort of the notch setting on the EQ to get that kind of, uh, less honky sort of sound, and um, I don't know really. I mean, that the is there such a thing as the you know? Would it be fair to say the Piranha sounds very American, and the yeah. and the Orange sounds very British, and it's just a question of I'm which trying do you very hard not to give my own personal opinion to allow the viewers to make their own opinion because I think sometimes yeah. people are swayed. But I would say that the Orange is a more natural British bluesy yeah. vibe, yeah. and the Piranha is way more kind of a driven fifty one fifty kind of slightly yeah it's 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 hard isn't it the the, the pv uh, certainly it's really weird because that everything about the pv you know its heritage and the bigger cabinet would suggest that it would have more bass end but i think i'm just liking the extra bass end on the orange yeah the, um, the, the piranha does not have a lot of bass end in, in this configuration yeah so but as rob said one of the things that sounds really good is using both together. And I've got to be honest with you, we are at borderline, even with these two poxy little cabs here, we're at borderline, you know, live should, level. Should here. we have both of them yeah. at full volume? 
together you gotta you gotta be honest it's with almost you. like one of them misses something that the other one has and then the other one misses something that the yep. other one has we have had amps in here four times the size of these and probably a lot more expensive the, too yeah. that didn't sound as good no as uh, that. Put, put that volume up but not full up i just want to hear it with less Again, we won't know until this video comes out what it sort of sounds like through the microphones and stuff. But in here, that sounds pretty good. It's really, it's really interesting, isn't yeah. it? It's like they're tonally... So, t the spectrum together makes yeah. it sound it's, better. It's like how you can get any old Fender and any old Marshall that in isolation don't sound great. And then you put the two together and they sound great. And it's because they are doing, you know, the, the combination of everything is just better than the two isolated Yeah, it's like you ones. get tomatoes and you go, oh, that's, that's all right, it's a tomato. You get cheese, you go, cheese is pretty good. You put it together on a bit of bread, you get pizza, that's amazing. Great analogy. Right, we're going to plug it into a big 2x12, do the same again, and so, post away now. Now would be a good opportunity to go, who, what did you prefer better out of those two? But there we Battle. go. Piranha versus Dark. So, we have a Sir 212. This is a VET 30 loaded open back 212 cabinet. Nice affordable cabinet. Really expensive. It's about five times the price of either of these heads. Um, it is 8 ohms, which if you remember from what I said before, means that we're getting the full 20 watts out of this now, but now probably only about 15 watts out of this. So forgive the PV if it comes out a smidgen quieter. But okay, anyway, okay. I've dialed in basically the best tones that we had from before. So here we go. Oh my lord. So it's it's very obvious that the the piranha is lacking a lot of the low end that yep. the orange has, which I think probably is why they complement each other when you do them together so well. Yeah. Because that's offering the saturation yep. that, that is a, a rock. It's a bit metal tighter thing maybe sounding. It's isn't tighter, it? it's more saturated. Yeah. But that's offering you the low end growl <clears throat> and the body that you want. Uh, yep. as a player, I'm finding it easier to play on the orange, but what I'm preferring of all of it is, is both of them. Yeah, together. we can't do both at the same time into the circuit because it only has one input. You can only do that with the little cabs. Which do you prefer, Lee? Um, yeah, probably the orange. I mean, I, I can't help I can't help but think, obviously, again, you're, if you're in America, maybe it would help if you could post in the comments section, you know, what the price of this is versus this over there. I, I can't help but think if you're in the UK because Orange is a British company. Uh, I know none of this stuff is made in the UK, but it's a British company. I, I, I can't help but it you know the value for money side of things pushes me towards that in terms of 
<clears throat> do I think we've got some better sounds today than we did when we did the original Piranha video? Then definitely yes. Mm. I don't know whether or not we made a poor choice of cabinet to run it through yeah, last maybe. time. Yeah, maybe. I mean, look, um, if you want to play heavy metal rhythm stuff, the Piranha's going to totally sort you out. It's got that tight, saturated kind of chewy grind that you need. If you're more into the rocky, grungy kind of metal area, then yeah. the orange is probably more your bag, as you would imagine, yeah. with the heritage of this and the heritage of yeah. this. Um, the only thing that's really, really surprised me, and... and it's how loud they are. It's just how loud they how are. How loud that is, for sure. Well, that's, both. They're both loud, but that's louder. Yeah. But, and again, and how good we managed to get them sounding into their own... I mean, oh, I, think, yeah. I think... Don't be fooled here. The reverb adds a lot of depth to the sound. Oh, take the reverb it? off right now. Uh, which one were we playing? This one. Take it, yeah. Um, Yeah. loud, legit sound. Yeah. Do the same with the Piranha. So no reverb through the Piranha. I think the bigger cabinet, obviously it doesn't need the reverb so much with the bigger cabinet, but with the smaller cabinets that they were sounding boxier, weren't they? So. I think, again, I don't, I genuinely, genuinely don't really have a favourite. If I could only have one, then I would have the orange because it would suit then the stuff that favorite. I would do. <laughs> yeah, but, but what I mean is that this does things that the orange doesn't do that I quite like, but just overall, yeah. um, so but, but much, both together, they sound amazing. Uh, let me just do my maths quickly. It would be about three hundred pounds to buy the two together. Quite a lot and it, of things in competition. For and it would pounds. be yeah, it would then plus the cabs obviously. So it would it would actually be more like sort of four fifty five hundred pounds to buy yeah. both complete stacks. Fun rig though. Yeah, fun rig. Imagine what you could do with stereo pedals. Well, yeah. And you'd love if you were gigging, you'd be literally like well, you just carry a little, it little Sainsbury's carrier bag. Well, each you just pocket could yeah. just stroll into the shop and do it. Well, what do you think, guys? We're interested in your opinion. Yes. This was the shoot that we got asked to do this tons and tons and tons. So we, we listened and we, we delivered. And, we uh, delivered yes. and I hope you've liked our very balanced uh, review of the two. We, 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 you know, we've tried not to sort of, you know, be too biased towards one or the other. Um, and yes. I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. See you later. Papow. That's twice I've said papow at the end of the video. <laughs>